Welcome to our interview with Kay Plantis on Reinventing Your Business Model. I'm Mary Pohl from I Can Pilot, here to bring you insights to help your company determine whether you are at risk of becoming a commodity. And if you are, give you tips on how to escape the trap our expert for today refers to as the Walmart effect. This is part one of a two-part interview with Kay. We are planning a third live web interview with your questions. So if any come to mind as you listen, please send them to us at your friends at iCanPilot.com with question for Kay in the subject line. We welcome Kay Plantis today, a 20-plus year strategy consultant, speaker, and author who started out her career as an economist from MIT and also as head of marketing and business development for a global medical products company. She then launched her own company over 20 years ago and has been an influential force in the strategy arena ever since. Kay divides her time working with clients globally out of Madison, Wisconsin and Oslo, Norway, and is gracious enough to share her insights here with us today. Kay, welcome. Hi, Mary. Thanks for having me here. I'm happy to be here. I'm sure some of our listeners would be curious. How does your background in economics differentiate your business strategy work with your clients? As an economist, I recognize that one of the fundamental principles of free markets is that all markets head towards commodity status in which there's a most efficient model or the lowest cost model for producing a, a good or service. And therefore, I approach my work um, not in a situation where I'm trying to help people get incrementally better, but I approach my work with clients in a way in which I say, look, if you don't change in significant ways, you're on um, a dangerous train track here headed towards a cliff in which price is going to be all that matters. And so it's really commensurate on you as a leader to continually evolve your business model so that you can avoid having to compete on price or make a very conscious decision to be the Walmart of your industry, in which case you can earn attractive profits by competing on price. That makes sense. Well, I would imagine you work a lot with companies that have seen the profits drain out of their businesses due to competing on price, and this is obviously not the goal of any business owner. So why does it keep happening? It's true. No one studied business or started his or her own business in order to continue to cut costs to stay in business. It happens because all too often leaders take the business model of their industry as a given and then they build and run a company based on that business model. In other words, they're like everyone else that's in their industry. Well, that can work well when a market is growing rapidly and there's plenty of work to go around to all the companies that are in the industry. But as the industry matures, price becomes increasingly important because that's how competition works in our economy. It forces people to become more efficient, and more and more companies get efficient, and price becomes more important. Is this inevitable for a company, then? What happens to leaders is rather than step back and rethink what their business is all about, they make the mistake of spending more and more of their time and their management's time trying to become price competitive. And it almost sucks them further and further into commoditization because they're doing nothing to become different than their competition. Our interview with Kay Plantis continues with how a company can strategize their business model versus their operations and how to define what is your business model in the first place. Kay also shares stories of some of her clients' business model evolutions, including one that inspired her to write a book. She reveals the secrets she has learned in helping companies through their evolution and the tough choices a few clients have had to make to step into their future business model. She helps us appreciate the most important work that must be done to get to the right new business model. And to wrap up, Kay discloses the company she believes is most in need of changing its business model today if it's going to survive. Let's hope their leaders are listening. To continue with this interview, simply click through to the I Can Pilot website at www.icanpilot.com. Once you're registered, you will immediately receive a link to part two of our interview with Kay Plantis on reinventing your business model. If you have questions for Kay that you would like addressed in a live web conference, please send them to us at yourfriends at iCanPilot.com with question for Kay in the subject line. Thank you for tuning in, and we welcome your comments and suggestions for future topics anytime. Just contact us at iCanPilot.com.